let's talk about breeders, okay? No, no, I shouldn't say breeders. I shouldn't say hate breeders. Anyone here have kids here tonight? Get, breeders are good people too. You got kids? You're 26 and you have kids? My God, you little whore. Good for you. <laughs> Give it up for them over here. They started young, yes. You have two kids? Two, oh my God, when did you start having kids? I'm a seven-year-old and a two-year-old. Oh my God. So you were 19 when you first had, got pregnant? I was seven, seven and a half. Give that woman a round of applause, everyone. I love her. Good for you. Good for you. You know what? You're probably going to be a great mom, and I respect you for that. <laughs> Anyways, I hate breeders. <laughs> They're ass, and I'm only kidding. Good for you. Good for you. No, I, I, I really respect breeders. What I don't like and what I genuinely hate, and there's a lot of them in Vancouver, I hate self-righteous breeders. And Vancouver is filled with them, especially like Kitsilano or Yale Town. They make you want to puke, you know? And they, oh, they're just so self-righteous, you know? You go down to Choices and they give you a glare because you're asking for a plastic bag, and you're like, fuck you, you got five kids, okay? Your carbon footprint is going to be bigger than mine forever. Go fuck yourself, all right? You know, but they're so self-righteous, and they always say the same thing. You know, it's like you could at least be original in your self-righteousness. They always say the same thing. They're just like, you don't want to have kids? <laughs> oh, Sharon. <laughs> I mean, until you have a child, you don't even understand the real meaning of unconditional love, joy, compassion, and empathy. I mean, until you become a mother, you don't even understand the meaning of life. I mean, until you give birth, until you become a parent, Sharon, you basically just don't exist. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, really? That's interesting, because I visit my brother and my sister-in-law a lot. They have five kids, all under the age of five. They have two big dogs and two big cats. Their whole life revolves around sleep deprivation and feces. <laughs> they are zombie scatologists. I'm not even kidding. It's all about shit. It's all about who's taking the shit, who's cleaning the shit, who's smelling the shit, who's trying to eat the shit, who's wiping the shit behind the wall of the crib. As a 43-year-old woman, I wake up in the morning after 12 hours of sleep. I drink a cup of coffee. I watch a bit of Netflix. I go to the bathroom. I drop a deuce. I wipe my own ass. My day is ready to go. Yeah.